Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Vicky here and today we are celebrating the fourth anniversary of Alti New. So this is a birthday blog hop. Join us for lots of inspiration and lots of giveaways. Today I'm going to create a really fun card uh, using the Ninja Invasion stamp set and I'm also going to stamp some of those uh, bamboos from the Never Give Up stamp set. I had this Ninja Invasion stamp set for quite some time now and I wanted to create a card. I think it makes uh, adorable cards, especially for all of those little uh, guys and girls that you have in your life who are into ninjas. Altenew has an ink that's called Bamboo, which is absolutely perfect for stamping these. I'm stamping them twice to get a nice and crisp image and now I want to add some uh, more dimension with a second color. And for that I'm using caramel toffee. Now in the bamboo trees there are some bumps, some knobs, I don't know how you call those. And they are always darker than the rest of the tree. And that's exactly the spot where I want to have that orange color. So just because my ink pad is quite big, I decided to apply the ink in the areas that I want to. By using this Fantastix tool, this is quite spongy at the tip and it picks up ink and applies it on the stamp beautifully so it works great. Another way to do that is if you have a marker, for example mementos, would work great. So I use the matching dies to cut out my bamboo trees and I'm just popping out all those little pieces. I picked one of those ninjas and I'm going to stamp him with black ink and I'm actually using Altenew permanent black. And I'm doing all the stamping with my Team Holtz stamping platform because I want to stamp this ninja a couple of times so that I end up having a nice bold and crisp image. Now for the body parts such as the hands and the face, there are other little images that fit inside and I'm using blush ink by Altenew to stamp those. To finish off my ninja I need to stamp the swords so I placed them where they need to go and also for that I was following the guide at the back of the packaging. I started by stamping them with uh, light grey but this is where I decided that it would be awesome if I actually used embossing powder. So I'm going to stamp them one more time with embossing ink this time and then I will apply platinum embossing powder by Altenew. I'm using my heat gun to melt the embossing powder and this is going to give a beautiful shine on the swords and a more realistic look. And now I'm going to use the matching dies to cut out my ninja and here is a tip, you might want to stamp the ninja, cut him out and then stamp the swords the blades of your swords because uh, this might be an issue if you don't align those blades correctly. Now it's time to assemble my card. First I'm going to stamp the sentiment on a piece of white cardstock. This is just a panel that is slightly smaller than a standard card. I use one sentiment from the same stamp set that says because you are awesome. And now I'm going to apply some texture at the background using the Warp Speed Stencil. This is by Altenew and it has just been released for the month of March. I'm going to apply with my spatula some texture paste on top. I'm not going to cover up completely the background. I'm starting from the center of, this, uh, of these rays and I'm moving towards the outside without uh, covering up the whole thing. I went with white just because I don't want to turn my background into being very busy. After all, I have lots of focal points to stick on top. And now let's uh, peel off the stencil and see how the background is looking. I really love the white on white texture and I think it provides the perfect background for my ninja. To make my card really fun I'm going to stick my ninja with one of those uh, mini wobbles. So this is actually a spring and I'm going to stick uh, one part on top of my ninja, at the back of my ninja and the other part on top of my card base. I'm peeling off the other side and then I'm going to stick this ninja on my panel making sure that he is nicely centered at the texture that I already have there. And the card is already looking awesome as it is but I will embellish it a little bit more with those bamboo trees. I'm just trying to decide where everything is going to go and then I will add some tape adhesive at the back and stick them down. 
So the idea here is that this ninja is flying and is coming towards you. And I'm going to stick uh, those bamboos in uh, two opposite corners, which frame my ninja quite nicely. I'm going to use my scissors to cut off all the excess and my panel is ready. And to finish off my card, I'm going to stick this panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm using some foam tape at the back to add some dimension. And uh, I picked the cardstock to match perfectly the bamboo trees. Alte New is an awesome company, they have amazing stamp sets and uh, this is a card for them to celebrate their fourth birthday. Don't forget this is part of a blog hop with lots of inspiration and giveaways. Make sure to join me on my blog to learn all about on how to enter the giveaways. Thank you all so much for watching and have a lovely day!